Well, hey guys, welcome back to my shop. My name is Dima and this is my bi-weekly update. Today is June 10th. So I actually got a lot of stuff done within the last couple of weeks. All of last week, I was designing all of my machinery into SolidWorks so I could rearrange my shop space. And I've got a video released this morning about how I organized my shop after I designed everything in 3D. And I've got a video on that that I released this morning. If you haven't seen it, I've got a link down in the description. Go ahead and check that out. I guarantee you will enjoy it. So the other thing I did in the last couple of weeks is I made a few joiner mallets. Uh, now these aren't uh, your traditional joiner mallets, the kind that have the handle that is tapered and it wedges into the top. I really don't like those just because a square handle doesn't really feel comfortable to me. So I actually turn these on the lathe in a certain profile that I feel that's comfortable. It actually is a kind of a profile of a handle of a screwdriver that is really comfortable to me. So I can either grab it down below or choke it up on top and do kind of uh, light things. So I put my logo on this one. Um, I've got six other mallets that I have I made that I still have to turn the handles for and I will offer those for sale on my Etsy store. So if you're interested, um, you'll find those in my store and I'll have a link uh, to my shop, Etsy shop, uh, down in the description. These weigh uh, roughly anywhere from 17 to 20 ounces. Uh, this one's 20 ounces. Uh, it depends on how much material I take off the handle. Uh, the heads are all 17 ounces. So you just got to add for the handle. So I'm not really sure how they weigh. Is it just the head included with the handle? I don't know. I have no idea. But um, this one's pretty good. So I actually got some shopping done for the last couple of weeks. Um, I've been doing a lot of dovetail, hand cut dovetails with uh, the Wood River chisels that I have. And they're just really not that good. Um, I, I can't do fine details and I can't do narrow tails. Um, so I went ahead and purchased two of these Ashley Isle detail chisels uh, that the edges are really narrow and you can really get down into the corners. I want to thank Matt Carmona for posting a video of the chisels that he uses. And I'm really going to enjoy this. I, I can already tell that I can really get into those corner details and without you know mirror, smearing the side or whatever you want to call it. Um, I, if you haven't seen uh, Matt Carmona's video, I've got his. Uh, I got a link to his video down in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. Now, the other thing I did is I'm, I'm really thinking that the chisels that I currently have are pretty much for beginners. Um, they're not really performing how I thought they would. So what I did is I did some research on a brand new chisel set that I wanted to invest in. And I really came down to two options that really fit my budget. Um, it was a Stanley 750 series and the two cherries um, chisels. And actually I decided to go with the two cherries and I received them today and I'm really happy with them. Let's see if I can show you these without dropping them. They are really highly polished. And once I get done honing them, from what I've been reading online, these are gonna really last me a lifetime. And I'm really gonna enjoy them. I got the six piece set instead of the four piece. I figured the I'll probably use them all so can't wait to start using these and I've got a few projects scheduled uh, in the future for hand cut dovetails so this is going to be really interesting so so I had some aluminite resin that's about to expire and it's starting to gel up on me so I had to heat it up to make it work so what I did is I went ahead and turned a whole bunch of call blanks uh, to use up that resin so that way it doesn't get lost. So I've got a whole bunch of call blanks that can also be sliced up into four pen blanks. So each one of these can be sliced into four pen blanks. So let me know if you're interested. I got my email down in the description and we can talk about it. So today I was able to start rewiring my 220 outlets. Uh, the outlet that was next to my electrical box wasn't going to reach my planer. So uh, I went ahead and bought some conduits, some outlets, and some boxes, and I started wiring my 220 for my planer. Now, uh, I mounted it up on the ceiling uh, because I didn't want to run the wire up on the floor, and I bought the, the twist lock uh, plugs, and it's really, really working great for me. So I'm really happy that I got the planer all hooked up, and now I can start planing wood. I'm really excited. So. Uh, I have no idea how much excitement I have built up inside. I just want to release it all and just run board through there like nonstop. But anyway, so I guess that's all I have. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. 
comment down below if you got any additional questions about anything I've got going on in my shop or any of my previous videos, feel free in the comments area down below. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button and you will get notifications of any future videos that I release. And if you're a new subscriber, I encourage you to go back and view my past videos in case you missed something interesting. Well, every single one of those is interesting. So go ahead and uh, click on my channel and view all those videos. So have fun in the shop, but be safe doing it. See you guys next time.